I want to take our viewers straight now to an image that's just been tweeted by Member of Parliament from Ukraine, Kira Rudik. And she joins us live now. I want to put that image on air that Kira Rudik has just put on her social media. I want to point our cameras at that picture on the screen. Give me that image in the next 10 seconds. We have Kira Rudik, who is a member of parliament from the Ukrainian Congress with us live. Kira, thank you very much for speaking to us. This image of you holding a Kalashnikov rifle has gone viral. You've told people that you've learned how to use a Kalashnikov and prepare to bear arms. It sounds surreal as just a few days ago, it would never come to my mind. Our women will protect our soil the same way as our men go Ukraine. Kira, what's going through your mind? Tell us about what you were thinking when you picked up this weapon. This video, this picture has gone viral. I, I was very, very angry when the war started. I, uh, I'm still very angry because I don't understand how the neighbor country and Putin can deny Ukraine the right to exist. And I'm very angry that I have to uh, maybe leave my town and that my family is threatened and that we all can, um, we are all put under the threat just because the crazy dictator is uh, telling us so. And that's why I decided I want to bear arms. I want to stand here, stay here in Kiev and I'm staying here. I'm protecting my family and I'm organizing the resistance group that is fighting Russians on our streets because they need to go back to where they came from, from our soil, because we are an independent country and we will protect our sovereignty no matter what. Because I want my children to live in Ukraine that I'm building for them, not some Vladimir Putin. Kira, is this the first time that you've picked up a weapon? You've said something like this would never cross your mind before this. Is this the first time that you yes. picked up a Kalashnikov this rifle? Yes. <clears throat> this is the first time I ever picked any weapon. What did you do with the weapon? Are you training to use that weapon right now? You've put out this picture which has inspired a lot of people. What did you do with the weapon? Are you training how to use it now? Yes, I'm training along with my uh, troop. Uh, we are training uh, to be able to use it and to protect ourselves against Russian soldiers. Do you think other women are going to come forward and do the same thing, Kira? Do you think a lot we of other women do. who are looking at this, do you know other yes. women who have picked up their weapons as well? Yes, there are many women. There are many my colleagues who picked up weapons. It's, uh, we have nine women in our parliamentary faction and nine of them picked up the weapon. Where is this weapon from, Kira? Is it, is it an army weapon? Is it your personal weapon? Where, where no, are you getting is, these weapons this from? Is, this is an army weapon that they gave us to be able to protect uh, myself. And can you tell us a little bit about how you are training? Because this is, after all, a lethal firearm. How are you training to use it? Can you tell us a little bit? Because people yes. are watching you. They are being inspired by this image. They want to understand. This, this, this weapon has been supplied by the army to citizens so everyone can stand up and fight. Can you tell us a little bit about how you are learning to use it? So we have uh, a guy, who uh, a soldier who has been fighting, um, uh, who has been fighting uh, the war in the East. And uh, we... Uh, he, he's training us, he's showing us, first of all, how not to harm ourselves and the people around us, how to be careful, how to clean it up, how to store it, and of course, how to shoot it. Is there a... Uh, 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 how, what, what did it feel like holding that weapon? I don't want to be insensitive because this is a, this is a dangerous time. You know, firearms are not something to be joked about or toyed with. But someone who never thought they would hold a weapon like this, Kira, what did it feel like holding a weapon like this? It's scary and powerful at the same time. But this makes me feel like I, uh, at the time when I will have to protect my country, I will be able to do so. It will not be a Russian soldier against me, um, just like disarmed. It will be... Uh, like an equal fight. You're and I will want to give it an equal fight. 
you're you're saying that you're saying that uh, no matter what happens nobody will give in without a fight that's what you're saying it's do or die for ukrainians right is there a is there do you feel sad uh, uh, kira that it has come to this it, you know for someone like you who's a member of parliament who says that you never thought you would actually pick up a weapon now an image of you going viral holding a kalashnikov rifle you you're saying that you feel uh, uh, you know powerful holding that weapon but does it also make you feel sad that you had to pick up this weapon of course it makes me sad however right now uh, the, that the question of if the war would start uh, did not pick up like it was not not ukraine's choice they just uh, at 5 am two days ago putin just announced that there will be war that's it and that's why uh, it's very sad that there is no going back to the life that we had it before but it's also i want to do everything so we would have a chance to have this life to a chance to have a life uh, where things will be just like before how has your family reacted to this uh, 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 kira to this image of you my holding partner, a weapon what did partner, they think what did they say to you my partner is armed as well and um he's supporting me and your friends you know because many people will look at this and they'll say oh my god where have we reached is anybody looking at this and being worried about you uh most of my friends are bearing arms as well okay most of your friends are also bearing arms akshita is also with me she also wants to ask you some questions kira go ahead akshita uh kira i just wanted to say you know woman to woman how inspiring it is to see that kind of a picture and especially when you write our women will protect our soil the same way as our men that message itself i'm sure will resonate with so many women across the world uh as someone kira and i can completely relate to what you're saying about feeling strong but at the same time scared and a sense of fear uh because to hold a kalashnikov in your arms perhaps that's when it truly hits you reality sinks in that you're in a war and i want to understand from you that feeling that you had uh the fear that you have and whether holding this kind of a kalashnikov gives you a sense of security also now right it gives me you know it gives me a sense of hope uh and it's much better when you when you have it around the house i can show it to you right now please, please do please do okay so that's kira holding her weapon uh you know uh, you you've been uh, can you show it to us once again kira can you just hold it up for the camera once we just want to we just want to see how okay so that's a kalashnikov in kira's hands you've been holding it since yesterday kira have you gotten used to holding it it's heavy it is heavy <laughs> we are digesting these images right now with you kira i i can tell you that th we do not feel disconnected from you or from ukraine right now both akshita and i sitting here my colleague we're looking at you millions of indians are watching you your picture here on india today and i can tell you that it looks it's sending out a message it is sending out a message that there is patriotism there is fearlessness but also there is a lot of sadness that proud people like yourselves members of parliament and others and citizens are actually pushed to the edge mm. of a situation where they feel the need to pick up arms that's the scary part and you know we we feel a lot of solidarity with you both me my and akshita all of us here in india feel solidarity with you but i want to also ask you this do you you said that holding that weapon had a lot of hope for you it makes you feel hopeful are you hopeful that things will settle down peacefully or do you think things are going to get worse so i think that putin did not expect the resistance that he got in ukraine he did not expect it hmm. and is right now there is 3000 russian soldiers killed in just two days so i hope that he will change his mind and take back his troops so to keep the soldiers alive and then we can go back to normal and then i can give the kalashnikov up 
And then we can all pretend that when we are telling our children and teaching them to go down to the ground when the siren is uh, on, that it was all just like a dream, it was just, just a game. Because I don't want to have this new reality where, where we have to teach our children how to go to the bomb shelter. However, if this wouldn't happen, if he wouldn't take back his troops, then we will have to stand for every inch of our soil and we will do. And I'm ready and, and I'm ready for that. And whole Ukraine is ready for that. Because people who were fleeing, fl uh, who fled the city now coming back, armed, now coming back with more equipment, now coming back to protect the city, to defend it. Because there is no way Putin can have a, have a capital. There is just no way. You know, the, the symbolism also, uh, um, Kira, is, is very significant. It's important. The Kalashnikov is a famous Russian weapon. And you're holding a Kalashnikov. Uh, that, I, I'm not talking about the fact that it's a Russian weapon. That happens. Uh, you know, the, 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 we're talking about the old Soviet Union. What I want to ask you is, what kind of message do you think your image has sent out to Russia at this point of time. With, with, with the number of, number of shares and retweets on social media, I'm sure thousands of Russians have also seen your image. What kind of message do you think has gone to the people of Russia? That every single Ukrainian man and woman are ready to fight. We did not start this war. We were peaceful people who were just living their lives in their country, not threatening anybody, just working our daily lives and moving to the better life for us and our, ourselves and our children. And then, and then the enemy came in. And people like myself, who were not ever supposed to bear arms in their life, now have to stand up and fight. Fight for what we believe in. Fight men and women shoulder to shoulder. Fight old and young shoulder to shoulder. Not to conquer anything not to take something from people, but to protect what is ours, our freedom, our country, and our nation. And this is what we will do, all like one. Kira, your message, I'm sure, is resonating across the world. And that image of you holding up the Kalashnikov for us is something that is seared in our heads right now, something that we will remember about this particular conflict and war. And what it's done to so many people, so many women, a parliamentarian right now holding a Kalashnikov for her safety, for her family's safety, for her country's safety. I want to understand from you, Kira, also, where are you right now? How are you ensuring you know you and your family are safe? You've got a Kalashnikov with you, but every time you hear a siren going off, every time you hear bombing and shelling, what's going through your head? How are you keeping yourself safe? So we live in a, um, in a house and we have um, stairs where I used to keep all my shoes, you know, shoe boxes, right? Yeah. Like a shoe cupboard. That you, that you put under the stairs because this is the only place where they can be. And uh, I had to remove all of that junk. And this is where I put my yoga mat. And then my family and myself, then we go under the stairs when the siren is on. And we wait until the siren is off. We listen to the shells. And uh, sometimes we pray, sometimes we sing songs, sometimes we, uh, we fool around, and sometimes we sleep. And then we go back like things didn't happen. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm still, uh, so last time we were playing a game, how many shoe boxes could have been here if I organized them correctly? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this is so surreal for us, for a peaceful country. I can imagine. Have, have, it, have it happening right now. Uh, that you, your mind is, has just to deal with it um, different ways. Uh, Kira, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how old are your children? And you've got a gun, you've got a Kalashnikov in the house now. How do you keep their spirits up? Because that perhaps would also hit them that, look, there's a war going on. So I'm, you, I'm not public about my family at all. Sure. So I would prefer not to answer this, but I'm very scared. You know, I can tell you a different story. Let, let me tell you. So sure. I read this on the internet that instead of telling kids that you have to go down 
uh, to the ground, you call it a turtle game. So that you have to go on your belly, open your mouth and close your ears because you pretend that you're a turtle. Hmm. And we pretend that we are turtles many times. My God. I, I, I hope, um, Kira, and I'm sure you're hoping as well that, that you don't need to pick up that weapon and fire it in anger. I hope, uh, you know, I, I know, I, can you confirm that for us, that you don't want to, you, you're hoping that you don't need to use that weapon. The fact that, you've, really the fact that you've picked it up is bad enough, uh, you know, for someone who never needed to pick up a weapon, but you're yes. hoping you never need to use it. Yeah. Um, I really hope that at some point uh, I will have to just return it back to where I took it and just said, thank God I never needed it. Kira Rudik, it's, uh, uh, you know, you, you used the word surreal just now. Uh, I cannot tell you how surreal it is for us to hear it from all this distance away uh, because we, we, we feel what you're feeling and your message has gone out to millions of people here on India today and everywhere else in the world. So I thank you, Kira, for giving us your time. We wish you and your family well. Thank you for sharing something very, very personal with us. It means something because it also sends out a message about what's happening in your country. And you don't only speak for yourself. You speak perhaps for all Ukrainians today and women who you've said should be galvanized to actually fight shoulder to shoulder with the men in Ukraine who are out there fighting as well. So we wish you well, we wish you safety, and both Akshita and I truly hope you never need to use that Kalashnikov. Thank you, Kira, for joining us. Thank you so much.